is called a nuclear romance. Platoni Platonian lady, your Avon lips are a mixed blessing. Maybe they make your kisses pack more punch, but they're so hot they burn me to a cinder, neutron death. Now lunatics in metallic clothes and the glowworm in the cafe on the moon. This one is called To My Love, Wherever She May Be. I am lying alone in a double bed, which seems to me ironic when you should be here by my side, naked in my arms, laughing in my lips, feeling in my thighs. I am trapped inside your invisible eyes, alone in a double bed, 200 weary miles away, and I didn't know people still slept like logs. This one's called, I'm only sleeping. Pausing at the window, I walk to the dormitory of your sleeping eyes. I reach your bed as you began to waken, fluttering eyelashes, dream vague thoughts, spraying as though disturbed dew. Your eyes opened, and when I looked into them, all I could see were the silly films of yesterday. And this is the last one, and this is about how when two people, one person loves another person, or respects them, and they want to say something to them, but they find it difficult or almost impossible to do so, and it's called confession. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't, dare not. The words formed in my mind, I spoke them silently, even said them out aloud when you were absent. I wrote them down on scraps of paper, blotting paper, typing paper, newspaper, any paper. Then I destroyed them, pretended they had not existed but they never were. Yes, I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. Dare not. I was afraid. Afraid that you were too far away. Afraid because I was an outsider. Afraid of. Afraid because. Because. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. You might be right.